It was a Boeing 787 Dreamliner, which, I mean, there's no other way to say, it caught fire at Heathrow Airport. No one was on board. The fire broke out inside the aircraft. It was parked and empty at the time. Heathrow's firefighters doused the jet uh, with foam, and both of the airport runways were closed earlier in the afternoon as a precaution. There were delays to both arriving and departing traffic. Both runways are now open. Now, <clears throat> join me over in the super screen, and we can put this into a little bit of perspective. The incident happened late in the afternoon, so really don't know much more than what happened. We know it's a Dreamliner, a 787. Ethiopian, one of the first airlines in the world to actually have the 787, and also the first one to actually put the aircraft back into the air. The aircraft, what we are seeing now, has been some scorch marks just about here on the plane. The significance of those scorch marks, no one can say. But it also leads out, because most of the foam is on the right side of the aircraft as well, where the firefighters, uh, of course, have, been, ha have put out the fire. We know that the plane was empty, and we, know, and we know that because, of course, it had arrived from Addis Ababa early this morning, and it wasn't due to return to Addis in Ethiopia until just about two hours from now. Ethiopian has confirmed the incident, the NTSB of the United States is sending over a representative to assist in the investigation. It all comes as a critical time for Boeing, which has been battling to restore confidence in the Dreamliner. The plane has had battery issues, which led to it being, uh, which led to a suspension in flying. As you can see, Boeing's share price was down around 4%. An hour ago, it was off some 7%. The company tonight issued a brief statement saying that they are aware of the event and that we have Boeing personnel. We are aware of the event. We have Boeing personnel on the ground at Heathrow and are working to fully understand and address this issue. As I say, the NTSB, which is now not only investigating the, uh, the San Francisco crash, there's an Alaskan crash, and now there is this one that they'll be sending an accredited representative to London to assist in the investigation.